All right, everybody just take a step back, relax. Let's talk about this in a relatively calm manner because I feel like somebody needs to. What's up everyone, John from Beyond AR TV. Today we're gonna to be talking about the band The 1975, more specifically some comments made by their lead singer Matty Healy, and the way that other bands and media outlets that cover music are handling this situation and the comments out of context. Recently to promote the band's upcoming albums, yes albums, there's two on the way, one this fall, one next spring, Healy talked about his heroin addiction, kicking drugs, getting help in rehab, and just everything else that's going on with their music. And he made a comment when talking about an upcoming festival slot saying that there are no other big bands doing things as interesting as them right now. Tell me another band that has guitars that would actually be able to fill this slot. That was the comment. It was about one specific music festival, a slot that needed to be filled, and who else would play it other than the 1975, because arguably, especially in the UK, for the Reading Festival, obviously that's an overseas fest that's very, very popular, who is going to fill that role? Considering the 1975 are from the UK, it makes sense. And honestly, even though the comments are being misconstrued by outlets like Alt Press, who literally have the clickbait headline, the 1975's Matty Healy says all other bands are uninteresting, which is un untrue. I mean, I don't even know how you can publish that. It's completely untrue. I read the entire interview before there was ever any controversy about this, and it's never said. The fact is, his comments were directed towards one music festival, but even if they weren't, it seems like so many other bands are very quick to tear into them, and even other bands that have toured with them or else played shows with them before, like Cage the Elephant, who tweeted out a bunch of laughing faces and also puke emojis and basically just went on to kind of mock them, say that they're not rock and roll, even though in this very interview it seems like Healy is very aware of the fact that they're not a rock and roll band, at least not what the status quo would say is rock and roll. They do a lot of different things, and this isn't just meant for me to come off like saying, hey, I need to defend them at every turn. In fact, I've been critical of some of their moves and especially their marketing. But over time, I've just seen this band get ridiculed for so many different things, and it seems like so many of these bands were ready to come out swinging. The band Idols were among the first to respond, saying, I'm not posting this as in a listen to us, we're doing something interesting kind of way. I don't think any of us give a flying shit. I'm posting this wondering if that dude actually has ears and listens to what they do. Recently successful band Portugal the Man who have had a couple of hits, most notably Feel It Still, and have had some headline success in terms of festivals at least getting solid spots, tweeted out jokingly and mockingly, who? In response to Enemy tweeting out the article saying, Matty Healy says there are no other big bands doing anything as interesting as the 1975. After that, they kind of quoted Cage the Elephant, who were basically clarifying their thoughts, saying that their statement wasn't really a diss, even though they're not his cup of tea, the lead singer of Cage the Elephant, that is. But the Lords of Portland themselves said, nah, fuck them, those kids don't act right at the 1975. This is quickly getting out of hand and very childish, and honestly, I feel it needs to come to an end. Bands of this variety need to be supporting each other, and it's clear that Healy didn't have the intentions of saying, fuck everybody else, tear down these acts. It's actually something that that's how the bands that are notably smaller than them in terms of their fan base are responding, and that's very unfortunate and also very childish. I think that we all have our moments and it's easy to gang up, but especially in the world of indie, alternative, rock, whatever you want to call it, these bands are kind of tearing into each other and feuding like children. And everybody thinks, oh, well, you know, indie and rock and alternative, they're supposed to be more mature than hip hop and pop and all of these other genres. Everybody's more refined. And I understand that everybody has their moments, but to jump on this hate bandwagon for the 1975, a band who actually are doing some refreshing things, yes, they definitely have their influences and their styles, but at least it gets people invested in a band that's doing things on instruments, making things that have a creative spirit to them. And also, I have to ask, 
Why do you care so much if the 1975 did have that presence about them? It's like it, it's praised to death in hip hop. If Kendrick Lamar comes out and says, I'm the GOAT, I'm the greatest of all time, or if Mac Miller says it, if Wiz Khalifa says it, they're all praised. But the second somebody in the indie world gets an ego about them, it's automatically not good? I mean, how do you think any of the rock stars of yesteryear actually made their way up? You know they had an ego on their shoulders, and that comes with the territory. It's not something where I have to sit here and say, I think that everything the 1975 touches turns to gold. In fact, I haven't exactly really found favor in their single Give Yourself a Try, especially over time. It's not a question of what their music is. It's something where if somebody is going to hype themselves up and make a statement that was just for a music festival and was taken out of context to say that they're talking about just in general, nobody is as interesting as them, I think that it's a little bit ridiculous. Let the man beat on his chest a little bit. Let him talk himself up. And in fact, Matty has responded to people like Cage the Elephant on Twitter saying that he is a fan of them and that his comments were taken out of context. I don't know what it is, but honestly, to see everybody kicking him like this while he's still recovering and is getting over a hell of a drug, a hell of an addiction, it's just not cool. Honestly, I'd love to see some either tweets deleted or some apologies, which would be great. Maybe some like, I don't know, showmanship or show of good faith between all of these bands. I understand that a lot of it was done in jest and that maybe I am reading too seriously into it, but the fans that see these tweets, guess what? A lot of times it further sours their opinions and people write off a band based on one clickbait article by alt press perhaps. I saw so many replies there saying, oh, well this makes sense based on what I've heard of them or what preconceived notions I have, this only confirms it. There are lies that get spread, there's other things that get done as a result of that, and I don't think that that's cool at all. Let me know your thoughts on the situation with the 1975 in the comment section down below. I will leave a link to the full Billboard cover story in the description down below. Read it for yourself, see the little comment. I already screenshotted it on screen for you, but if you wanna read it and make sure that I'm not doctoring it and lying to you, it's in the description. If you're interested in seeing another video I did on the 1975, then tap right below me here. Tap the corner annotation if you're able to support me on Patreon and help what I do on both of my channels keep coming on a monthly basis, or tap right over here for another recent video. Socials found in the description, and I'll see you soon for more on Beyond AR TV.